In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. What's good everyone, we are back for more, it is day 24, we're going to kick things off with the darkness of Hallowvale, and then begin our thieving journey. First of course, birdhouse run, and I think I've decided I'm actually just going to keep these herbs for now, I'm not going to put them straight on the GE, because we will need some herb lore levels, so I'd rather just keep a hold of them for the minute, put these ring of wealth so we're off to do a birdhouse run first. I've already got that on. And we should take the message as well. So we're going to Fossil Island. We are gonna do our little birdhouse run. I actually had a bunch of nests in the bank that I needed to sell. So we'll get to that whenever. Hopefully we get more than two nests today for the whole day. Well, we've already beat it. I think I'm just gonna go straight to Bird of Rocks. We're gonna have to leave anyway to go back to Patadermus and then Varrock before going back. We might actually be waiting on a timer here, thinking about it. Definitely better to get this in right away. Might end up having to buy another Barrow's Teleport so we can get back there quicker. Still haven't got Scurry back yet. I was going to do it before this, but my main account is sat at Perilous Moons of a full invent at the moment, so... I don't really want to waste the prep that I did whenever I did that, I guess last night before I went to bed. So yeah, still no scurry for the moment, but don't worry folks, I'm still petitioning the powers that be. I'm going to get him freed. Okay, now he wants us to go to the temple. So yeah, we've got a 20 minute timer here, so I think we're going to have to get a Barrow's teleport. We need our Draymond staff and our Ardy Cloak though. Just grab both of those. I think I'm actually gonna just go to the GE real quick. Let's get a stam, a couple energies, and where are my birds' nests? Let's get those ground down. Okay, we got 31 nests to sell, not bad at all. And I wanted that st stam and energy by now. Not noted. So we're gonna sell our nests for a nice 200k. We're gonna get a Barrow's teleport. I think we're good. Uh, I'm gonna go down here. I think probably about the same distance as going to Ardy Cape. Maybe slightly quicker even. And we've already got the right destination there. Oh, we're about to have a cutscene. I don't think it's that long of one at least. Very much not that long of one. There's a magic level. Give me a Varrock telly. Very kind of him. Just unlock the Watchtower telly as well by the looks of it. I was wondering why that was now showing up in my uh, spellbook. Wait, are they going to teleport me to a bit of rock? Uh oh. What? Why would you take me back to Patadermis? I don't need to be in Patadermis. What? That's so weird. Like, if you're going to teleport me somewhere, teleport me where I need to go. I think we should get pickaxe as well, right? Pickaxe and a knife. Okay, quick stop at the bank. Make sure we have our pickaxe and our knife. I think we're good for energy. Take a summer pie. Oh, I forgot we get XP tomes from this. 6k worth. I think it's probably gonna be... It's probably gonna be agility, right? I think it's got to be. I mean, mining sucks, but agility is more important. Thank you very much. We sort of have to run all the rooftops again. Why the fuck is that there? You can't get it. I don't really want to waste runes grabbing this item. How can you tell me what to do? What the fuck? That is such a weird thing. I actually did want a bucket. Because I, I dropped all mine the other day and I didn't have a bucket. I wanted to... 
Why couldn't I take that bucket? What the... The fuck? Oh, thanks, he's guiding me out. Okay, we go up here, I think. Wait, why is this not working? Is it that one? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm meant to, oh, I'm meant to go back down there. I'm an idiot. And this city's big, isn't it? I always forget how fucking huge it actually is. I swear, like, Darkmire is legit, like, the size of Valmor, right? Okay, maybe not, but it's like a lot of it. Just in a different shape. Even though it's barely relevant, I love always having alts on us so much because it just, it, like, it makes me feel like I'm being efficient during portions like this where I'm just running around a fucking castle wall. Like, doing this normally is such a drag because I'm like, ugh, I'm just being deprived of XP right now. But, like, at least I'm doing fucking something, you know? Did that work? Okay. Cool cutscene, bro. Can I get on my day now? Right, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to put the prey melee up now, so... Oh, wow, it went off. Yeah, let me bop him. Don't care if it's zeros, I still want to bop him. Pussy ass bitch. Wait, he knocked me out? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, back to what I was doing, I guess. Give me a Vire Watch. Where's a Vire Watch? There's one. Can I get him? Hey, you over there. Oh, this one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, don't fly off, don't fly off. Yes. No, no. Send me to the mines. Can I pick up these buckets of water? Or are they all just in places where you can't get to them? You really don't want to go anywhere near that. Is, is that a piss bucket? Is that what it is? Oh, uh, what about this? It's an empty piss bucket. Wow. Well, what a fun, useless city. Oh my gosh, what is my dude doing? What are you doing, dude? I think we're almost there now. Up to the service. Is he gonna tell me to run across the city again? <sighs> okay, it looks like a different place. Kinda of getting low on stamina. Didn't think there was this much running around to do. Long ass quest. Okay. Search this. Almost okay, we gotta go back to Bird of Raw, but that's it. Oh no, we have to go back to him again. Fuck's sake, man. So much back and forth. Don't know what I'm expecting. It is a RuneScape quest. At least we can actually use the minigame teleport again now to get back to Bird or Rock quicker. Because we spent that long running around for this quest. Okay, Shades of Morn. Just gotta turn in. And then we're gonna be going on to the feud. But I am gonna nip to an estate agent's first and move my house to Palm of Niche. Pretty sure I have the level for that. Here we go. Darkness of Hallowvale completed. We're gonna read the Tome of Experience, and I think I'm just gonna go three times on agility. Seems like the player. Okay, the feud. Grab that. I'm gonna go to Falador. Wow. Some thieving, some construction, some agility. All lovely stuff. Paul of Nietzsche is now where our house is located. I don't think we need this. Destroy it. Okay, do we need anything? Lever or something else. I'm just gonna go for uh, some run energy and shit. Combat gear, bring range or mage gear if safe spawn. That is all our energy. Stamina is looking low as well. Okay, Alcarid. I don't think this is too long. I don't wanna jinx it now, but. Oh. Uh, I think I actually need this and this. So. Wait, did I do the wrong option? What is going on? Okay. Use. Buy it. Why do I need to bypass from Shanta? I'm going outside my house. We're good? Okay. <laughs> okay, we need to buy some beer for this guy. Talk to him. Give him the beer. Uh, talk to a thug. Talk to a bandit? Where are the bandits? Okay, the camel guy. Where's Ali the opera? Oh, can't check. Don't have a pin. Uh, shit, I don't have leather gloves. There's a general store here. Some buckets there. <laughs> why, 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 why is there no gloves here? <sighs> For fuck's sake. Combat bracelet's not gonna work, is it? Okay, go into a bank. Oh look, some leather gloves. Is that a spawn? So weird that that was there. Nice thing with actually moving my house here is that I'm allowed to make mistakes like that and I don't get punished for it. 
Don't think there was actually anything in that safe, but apparently we found some jewels. No, who would have guessed Traitorous Alley was the traitor? Okay, time to catch ourselves a solo mission. Use it on this. Oh, go get your own snake. Where's a snake? Is there any snakes nearby? We got snakes over here. Hey, you know what that is? That is a snake on a plains. <laughs> I think that joke deserves a marshmallow. In fact, I think it deserves two! Wait, I don't have a shovel. Oh my gosh. This guy gonna have a sh shovel? He don't have a shovel? The fuck am I meant to do? Do you just use the bucket on it? That works. I did not realise that worked. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, prepare yourself for a fight. Enjoy dying, nerd. Okay. We don't... Okay, we just need to go back. Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna try and get the Prince Alley quest started. Just progress the steps of it that are here. Because it's on the to-do list soonish. Okay, I don't think I need to ask those questions. So maybe I do, but... Shit, I should check, shouldn't I? I'll check after, as soon as this. I might just go on to it next. So it's a quick little quest when you've got access to Grand Exchange. Alright, 15,000 thieving XP. Starting at the Tribal Totem quest. It's a very quick one. Alright, got ourselves the totem. Back we go. Very, very quick one indeed. There's Tribal Totem. I'm going to see if we can squeeze one more in. Monster teleport for the next bit. Way quicker than running down there. I'm gonna side with Serral, because according to the wiki, that is the quickest one. I think we should be able to get this done. So we don't have to do this last step, that's just if you go side with the other person. Nice knowing you, bud. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna teleport to the monastery rather than Ardy. If I'm not in clicking distance of this from an Ardy teleport, I am here. And then I'm assuming our birdhouses are ready. Yep. And go get those after. I guess we'll just chill at a bank and clean some herbs or buy stuff for Prince Alley. Had a pretty productive day though. No major dramas. Okay. There we go. Go to Ferox. And we want to bank basically everything because it's run energy if we don't need it. Just be able to buy up some of the stuff for this before we finish. There's a hunter level 48. Cash stack's looking nice at the minute. We're over a mil. We have spent 500k on miscellany the other day that we didn't, like, sell anything from. So, not bad. We're only a mil then. Must have just come from bird's nest and shit. And alkin. Alkin the stuff that we had bought. Oh, that'll be me. Okay, folks, let me see here. We completed Darkness of Hallowvale, The Feud, Tribal Totem, and Hazil Cult. Four quests done today. Started Prince Ali Rescue, but we've done fuck all for it. The cash stack, like I say, is looking decent at the minute. We've still got 300k worth of javelin heads as well there, though we are a little lower on nature runes than the amount we'll need. Uh, and we got all these herbs saved for when we need to grind our herb lore up to 45 for heroes quest legends quest even so that's nice to have out of the way this bank is a fucking atrocious mess i know xp gain today we got 60k almost mostly in thieving we had 24,000 xp there in thieving today very nice indeed 13 in agility is also not bad so, thieving has gone up 10 levels from 33 to 43. Agility has gone up 3 levels up to 43, which is going to be nice for underground pass in particular. Magic went up one, of course, as well, with all the alkin we got done today. 11,000 magic XP gained. And our construction went up 2 levels for whatever the fuck that's worth. And then the hunter level, but that is all. Yeah, ma mainly thieving. We went up that whole 10 levels and 3 agility. Very nice indeed. 
Ah, some solid progress made today. And four more quests off the list. Wow, that list is getting small. We only have 14 quests left. 14, y'all. That is actually wild. 14. And that's including both of the council members that we've got left to free. So, only 12 quests outside of council members left to go. It is certainly speeding towards a finish here. We're going to have to work on our thieving a bit more tomorrow. We're going to do Prince Ali Rescue into contact. It's going to be great. We're going to get another 7k thieving XP, which will bring us up to almost 43. So we'll still have some work to do because we need thieving levels. All right, that's going to be all from me on this one. If you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to leave a like. It helps out a ton pushes me into the algorithm and lets me know that you appreciate the content I'm creating so that I keep doing it. And leave a comment down below, let me know if you're having fun with the series, with uh, with season 2, is it, you know, people still having fun? I'm still having fun. I don't know, I'm very insecure. Yes, we'll leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel CC. Number 25 when it comes out tomorrow. Damn, that girl's chest is stacked. Buying GF, 10k. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.